Hi, this is Dr. Hal Stewart with the Texas Center for Occlusal Studies and Minimally Invasive Dentistry. I'd like to just explain uh, something with photography really quick because a lot of the photographs that uh, our residents, when they're first going through our class, one of the mistakes they make is not having the right aperture setting. So what I'd like to explain to you is just very quickly, if you're using a Nikon, a Fuji, uh, uh, any SLR camera where you can set the shutter speed and the aperture, what I like to do is to set my camera in AV mode. AV mode or aperture priority mode, some cameras it just says A. What that does is you set the aperture. The aperture is the size of the hole that the light goes through when the, when the shutter opens. You set the size of the hole and then the camera will adjust the shutter speed automatically. So what you need for a, like a three to one shot where you're taking a retracted view of the teeth and you want everything to be in focus from the central incisors all the way back to the second molars, you need a higher aperture number. So that's gonna be a higher aperture number that equals a smaller aperture, okay? So an aperture of 16 is gonna give you a smaller aperture the camera will adjust the shutter speed accordingly to allow enough light to go through, but you're going to get a bigger field of focus. So you're going to be able to focus clearly from the central incisor all the way back to the second molar. Everything's going to be in focus. A large aperture or a large hole is a smaller number. So let's say if you have an aperture of five, Okay, a decreased aperture number actually means a larger aperture. So we use this for like a, uh, a shot of the full face. We're further back from the patient. So if we put an aperture setting of five, the hole the light goes through is going to be bigger. We're going to get less of a f uh, focal distance and we're going to um, allow more light in at a quicker shutter speed. And so, in general, an aperture from 16 to 22 for your 3 to 1 and 1 to 1 shots, and then an aperture of 5, uh, around 5, 5 and a half for your portrait shots, and you're going to get great results every time. This is Dr. Hal Stewart with the Texas Center for Occlusal Studies and Minimally Invasive Dentistry.